so we've been able to do a follow-up video after last week's. Same tank, same collection of fish, this time just under normal white LED light rather than the sunrise LED light unit. Quite cool to see, there's a electric yellow with a slight imperfection, it's injury just to its left hand side. Great to see that there's no secondary bacterial or fungal infection present on that, so you know the fish has been injured, but that the wound is able to just heal, there's no issues, and that's really cool because that validates the fact that in a high alkaline environment like they would experience in the lake, you're not seeing any further infection, so good validation of that. Another great validation is that the look fish look fantastic, and I was a bit disappointed that the fish look better in person than they do on video, and I'm always a bit disappointed when I cut one of these videos together that then they don't look as good as they do to me when I'm filming. And that's really sad, you know, I'm trying to find ways to showcase the real beauty, but it's always a little bit difficult and, and you can't always get them to showcase in full sunlight. The other validation that I'm pretty chuffed about is the group of fish that are all living together doing really well, you know, um, they're looking in fantastic health, the, the amount of fish is really good, but it's not massive amounts of territoriality that we're experiencing because we've got a great collection of females that are making up large numbers as well as species from different parts of the different lakes that are taking up space so therefore the competition isn't as high as if it was an all-male tank with 30 males from from the same body of water so really happy about that so in the previous video we discussed improving the line so in improving a genetic line the first thing you think of is line breeding so selecting the best possible male to breed with the girls yes we do that but i think that's only half of the battle the other aspect of it is epigenetics so this is where by creating a perfect environment the best possible food especially in the pre-egg stage and then in the the actual gestation of the eggs and the maturation of the eggs in the female as well to the breeding and then the feeding of the young babies that's the most important so if you can get that perfectly right all the time that they get everything they need you actually see an, a, an improvement of the line so in terms of epigenetics I, I would say it's about a 15 to 20 percent improvement you know so you can take it average looking fish and you can actually ensure that its progeny have a better coloration, more intense coloration, stronger fish. And this is really evident, um, you know, you see it in all, all manners of life. So if you take a great selection of cows and bulls, you put them in a paddock of subpar grass, you don't give them the right feed, their offspring won't be as good as they are because you've got to, you know, it's just that they're not able to have that genetic improvement. If you give them great grass, great tucker, lots of shade, lots of water, everything they need, the right nutrition, they're all almost an improvement of their line, you know? So that's the genetic improvement epigenetics. We've seen it with a lot of the fish that we buy now. It's important to remember that we're just, none of these fish are our lines. It's not like they're our fish. We're just caretakers of them and we should be treating them with the greatest respect and the greatest care at all times because they are livestock. And that's why we, I think, is one of the reasons that our fish look so good is because they get the very best care at all times, especially in the most important phase, and that's in the, the pre-egg phase, you know, it's, that's the most important time, and I believe that another reason our fish end up being really strong is that they never go through the end egg tumbler process, so we create a high level of competition in the female's mouth, and they get a level of immunization, so what that means is the mum passes on her immunization, her bacteria that live on the skin that protect the fish from other bacteria taking hold you know we're learning within human medicines how important this is and that is one of the reasons that we don't do anything like egg tumblers because they are then raised in an artificial environment they never get that immunization and they never get that competition that breeds out the weakness because there's no space competition so for epigenetic manifestation with the perfect environment you can see an improvement in the genetic lines and we've seen this repeatedly we buy fish in from all over the place from suppliers or everywhere and we're able to improve on the strength and vitality and coloration of the fish by second or third generation down the line and that's where it really hits the cusp for us now when we see that improvement in coloration within the females and that's really important so i hope you like this video i hope you like the showcase of the fish i wish i could show them as we see them but you know that you can only do what you can do and thanks for watching